and in this video, we are going to learn how to change the task relationship between two tasks in a Gantt chart. And usually, whenever we want to set the relationship from one task to another, what we usually do is that we could go to the previous task and then try to drag it until you see an arrow and then just drag the arrow to the next activity and then that could create an arrow that indicate the relationship between two tasks. Now the default relationship is finished to start. That means that once the previous task is completed, then the next task will begin. But sometimes that is not the case. For example, video editing and creating thumbnail, it can be done in parallel. So what we really want to do is to change the task relationship so that both tasks can start at the same time. Now, how do we do that? Uh, many of us have probably tried to do it differently. For example, what I usually do is that I could try to point the arrow to the beginning of the next task, but it doesn't work that way. So a better alternative is to click on the latest task, go to task property, go to predecessors, and then just add the previous task to it. So in this case, it could be video editing. All right. Now the default is finished to start. But that is not what we want. So in this case, what we really want is for both tasks to start at the same time. So just click here and then choose start to start. Click OK. And there you have it. Even if the duration for each task get older, but the relationship will be the same. Both tasks will be set to start at the same time. And that's it for now. Happy learning and see you in the next video.